It's how we all know that pencils are numbered, right? The old number two pencil, they go with the SAT test like peanut butter goes with jelly. A wonderful combination. But on Saturday, be May 4, it's a big SAT day. Lots of students are going to be taking the test, and that old duo will be no more. Gone are the days of the Scantron sheet like you see there in that pencil. It is all digital now. Uh, students taking a new looking SAT all on computers, and we spoke with an SAT expert. The guy got a 1600 on the test. Perfect score. Now he writes books and prep courses for the SAT. He says it's a more student friendly test and will actually be able to change and adapt as the student is taking the test in real time. Though just because you're taking it on a computer, you can't just stay at home, do it from the comfort of your bedroom, pulled up AI and asking it questions. You won't be able to do it at home. I know everyone would love that. Have ChatGPT open in the background answering all your questions. You still got to go to an approved testing center and, and take the exam, of course. Um, but, but I think it's going to be a more student-friendly exam. It's the first SAT that's under 100 questions. Mm. It's an adaptive test, which means the questions get harder or easier based on your skill level. Right, kind of interesting part there, huh? The, chat, the test can change and adapt to you. And Dr. Sean Patel there says the best way to prep is get that College Board app. They've got their own app where there are practice questions, to tutorials, how to take the test, and uh, also online and print study guides, which Patel actually writes himself. He says since taking the test in and of itself is a skill. By the way, good luck. If you're taking the test on Saturday, go do your best. Have a good breakfast. That's my best advice. Keitha? Hungry right now. Thanks for that, Turner. It's